varies now. I'll start going almost every day, five, six days a week in the morning. And then I work out in the afternoon, running or the gym. <clears throat> The main complication with lung transplant is the development of chronic rejection. Since the donor lung is really a foreign body, the patient with CF who has the transplant can have a rejection of those lungs. If we put a lung into somebody, the body says, this is not from my own body. I'm going to try to kick it out because it doesn't know it's not just a huge infection. To keep the body from rejecting the lungs, you have to take the immune system and beat it down so it doesn't attack the foreign invader. By decreasing that immune system, you make somebody very prone to infections. A regular common cold, which can be nothing for me or you, can be devastating in a lung transplant if it's not recognized quickly and taken care of. You really don't want to get a transplant unless it's life-threatening. A lot of people get a double lung transplant and they don't come off the table. Life on disability is it's existing, it's okay. It's not what I would want to be doing. You know, I'm just training to stay alive. You have to be disciplined. Um, but you know, it kind of shuts you off a little bit from the world. A lot of IV antibiotics, it gets to the point you have no more veins left, or the veins break down. So the easiest way when you go on a lot of IV antibiotics is to get a Metaport. And it's surgically implanted, and then you can use this every time that you go on IV antibiotics. And this takes uh, about an hour and a half, two hours to go in. <laughs> 